right now. Like crazy. You ready for this, Rusty? We're Ross. about getting ready to go. Ross, get out first, then Rossi, then Japs, and me last. Getting ready to go. Rusty, you're okay. Yep. Sorry, nature called. Fuck you, Japs. We're going to see that right, flank again. we got one from... disconnected, and then we're, we're, we're ready. Oh, boy, they all spawned in. Wow, 30-30. This is a big step up for us. The last one that we, the last biggest one we covered was 24v24. Come on, lads, make a better room. Make a better room, lads. Come on, the big man's coming through. Sometimes, uh, Ian, the, uh, the guys will go ahead and take pre-game pictures before they, uh, they get ready to ship off. So it looks like Red Coast, that might be what they're doing. Yeah, they're lining up and posing. <laughs> that looks great. If there's one thing the Redcoats do, it's that they always put on a show, no matter what. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we should be. Or what? It's gonna be a cluster. Y'all better bring the thunder, babies. Bring the thunder. It's always on Redcoats! Rossi stood right next to me. <laughs> so how is your team set up by the way in terms of squads? We have one, two, three, four squads. Four squads. Interesting. Yeah, they, they, got the... they got five. They got five. Yeah, they have smaller squads on there, right? So the red coats are doing a uh, little dance to some pipe and drum music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This, it, I, I'm telling you, I think this will be one of our best matches so far because of the map. The uh, the clarity with which you can see from above on it, because some of the other maps are really foggy and it's kind of hard to you know, purposefully because it's you know it's morning or whatever, but yeah. you can really see well on this map. Thank you, Hobo. Okay, your pistols. Oh, Reload your pistol. That reminds me of last week when we played that, uh, well, we, I think we played the French National Anthem for AOK -OK before they stepped off. Yeah, that was funny. Let's get some ice cubes. Some ice cubes for it. Listen up, gentlemen. I'm ready for this one, man. Oh, here we go. Russ is giving the pregame announcement. Wait, so someone says they have two points. Smoking is not permitted on this road. Uh, uh, Oaks, does 303rd have two-point loss? Let's call our contacts nice and early. Let's keep our eyes open and our ears out and let's get Oaks, you there? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, are, they, are they two down? Uh, no, 303rd's got 300 tickets. I think maybe he was talking about he might have a glitch with his map where it looks like they're holding two of the points. Oh. But none, none but it's of the points no, are captured. No, it's, yeah. yeah, everything's neutral. Uh, Iron said that Chambers coming in? Is that what he said? Way down on one, maybe? Yeah, someone had a disconnect, I believe. Okay. Red coat's still going strong. The, the dance of the Piper. Now, this is reminding me of, like, the days of, uh, Mountain Blade. You guys ever played that? What about it? That's, I mean, this is exactly how Mountain Blade was. Everybody would, like line up in formation and march to the the beat of the drummer who's an actual person and you could kill hilariously don't worry when you're gonna go I'll, I'll kick you up the arse so don't you worry i'm right behind What's, you, it, you know it's, so ian too <laughs> behind the scenes <laughs> you know these clans they'll spend hours like in their own team speaks formulating plans figuring out how they're gonna you know one of the big things that's different with arma because a lot of those clans will end up doing a clan versus a AI set, you know, whereas this is, you know, very well done, you know, if you've already wrote that article, but, you know, it's, it's this clan versus clan, you know, it, this isn't clan versus AI. Right. So it's, it's a whole different set of dynamics when these guys start fighting each other and it's live. Yeah, I'm interested to see how the metagame evolves and, you know, eventually sort of standard practices will evolve and uh, and people will sort of have a, a standard strategy and then people will react to that strategy and then it'll change over time. That's that's going to be really interesting to watch. Oh, it's going to change a lot, like, over just the next two months, I predict, because of the, yeah. the patches we get coming out. But once the game modes are more 
solid state, then then the meta game will really take off. There'll be a lot of experimentation going on for the next couple of months for sure. Well, then, too, wow, you, 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 you can also add to that, oh, and can, these plans yeah, will, you know, over time, they're going to get to know each other. So, eventually, everyone's going to say, all right, typically, this is what the Redcoats employ, this is what 303rd does. Uh, and then we're really going to start getting into the real skill, because people will be knowing some of the formulated plans. So, it'll get even better. If I could just uh, point something out really quick, uh, 303rd is currently playing Duck Duck Goose in their spawn while they wait. You can touch, you can play, as long as you're always mine. <laughs> right, let's, 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 let's oh. pay attention to the top bit of your screen, you yeah? ready? You ready? Pay attention, pay attention to the top bit of your screen, boys. Hey, remember, Oaks, you can talk to them on uh, Commander Comms. So every yeah. now and then, if you want to ask them, say, hey, where, where are we at? Like, tell them on Commander Comms to let you know, because sometimes those the, the chat's just going by. Gotcha. bell is inside my head. <laughs> oh, the anticipation's killing me. I know, man. Oh, I'm sure. uh, they're getting yeah. antsy. How are we looking? What's our head count? I got 30 for... Yeah, or 29. They got 29. Are they waiting for one? I think waiting for one. Tickets, please. Ask them, Oaks, Tickets, if they're please. still waiting on that one. Hey, are you guys ready to go? Still waiting on one player. I mean, tell him that guy can just spawn in too. I mean, we can go. This is, I don't want to wait too long for one guy. Come here. Guys, we're losing. We're losing by two tickets, guys. Guys, we're losing by two points. That's the game. That's the game. Mine fell down that big hole in between the in between the door and the gap. Sorry. Mind the gap, gentlemen. Mind the gap. Yeah, about your bollocks, are you ticket? And Ian, if you have any questions during this as it goes on, feel, feel free to jump in. Don't, don't think that you have to just take a completely silent backseat to the entire show. Yeah, uh, but but definitely, you know, feel free to uh, to hop in. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. We should be no covered uh, tonight since I'm here as well. Yep. Let's get that to Rock solid. Rock solid. Yeah, Please, and Rusty, else? remember, we're playing uh, the full tickets on this. Yeah, absolutely, 300. <laughs> <Swamp on that. laughs> Redcoats have some sort of whistle, I don't know. I think I've got an issue with my mic, can anyone hear me? Yo, hello? Oaks, what's the status, man? Yo, I, I asked them, they haven't gone back to me, I'm, I'm going to ask bitch, again right man. now. I didn't catch that, what's going on? Jesus Christ, come on. Money and Ruby, ready? ready? I didn't hear Oaks. Uh, he said he's not getting um, uh, response back. Sorry, I was typing. Uh, I'm just saying, let's not hold this too long for one person. Oh yeah, we got. We got. Saying, they're saying he's almost here. All right, yeah, they're good to go. They're going to just let that last guy spawn in on the rally once he gets in. Okay. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Good to go. We're live. Iron X Bay says I guess. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Yep. This is amazing. Here we go. Get They're the certainly in the fighting mood. They're gonna do the whistle. They're gonna do the whistle. Nice. Oh, Redcoat's going over the top. I saw a starting gun go off. Nice. I, it'll be nice <laughs> if in the future we have something like that. All right, we'll full, full blown live, right, Rusty? Yeah, so here we go, thirty on thirty, Redcoats versus three hundred third Tiger Battalion. This is going to be a very interesting match. 
Oh, it's going to be pretty yeah, heavy. Yeah, we've had this month, about a, about a month planned, this match. Nice Ian, to finally see it tip. here. If you want a good time, you stick with Rush UK or Blitza. Oh, absolutely. It will be entertaining. Yeah, I've got the, co the flags covered. All right, good to know. All pushing for that fob. Japs Eye, I'm guessing, is going to be leading the uh, the squad on the flank, as he always does. I'm going to be definitely taking uh, taking note of where he ends up. Because he's usually way out there on the flank causing ruckus. He got an SVD this time. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they picked their two top shooters and gave them the SVD. At least that's what it looked like in pregame. asking for a quick roster check of the two teams. Can you put that up? Sure. Them, please. Yeah, yeah here's then, our here's our roster. Um, you can see it's it's thirty five thirty, but we've got ourselves I, uh, yeah, like, in uh, in there as well. <laughs> but here's a roster. You can see how the uh, uh, the red coats on the Russian side are laid out. They've got four squads. And uh, uh, Oaks, you said that the three hundred third has four or five. They've got five actually. They've got some smaller squads of just five or six players. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, commentators, like always, um, just keep me updated if there's something going down, but I'm going to be sticking with um, engagements until they come to a close, unless there's a good reason to kind of pull off. So I'm going to be first starting with Russ UK, following him and Blista as they uh, come down the middle here, as they just reach the bridge. And there's the map right there for Twitch, in case you haven't uh, seen Chora before. Uh, that reminds me, I need to call up Chamber's position, just in case uh, he is stream sniping. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. You can see uh, you can see Duffy on the Grove. He's uh, the only guy back there capping the flag for the Redcoats as the rest of their squads in full fighting force move forward. You can see rallies going down, Jap's High Squad. Taking Riverside Farm. Rossi leaving one behind to capture Market Hub. Russ UK, the forwardmost element for the Redcoats. Blizzta in support. So what area are you covering on Rusty first? Right over Russ UK. I believe he's going to be the first to be in contact with uh, the 303rd. Definitely in the north. The you can tell where a lot of people will definitely Russia put a... Uh, from his northeast down there by Swan East. In the north, you're definitely going to get some contact soon, too. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm, well, Russ UK is actually bypassing these... Uh, he doesn't see this 303rd squad that's moving uh, Rossi, up. Rossi, me and the two boys are going to time with you on the eastern side. You can hear a little bit on the commander comms there. there. They're probably going to drop a fob up there, which is probably what 303rd's um, tactic was as well. Rossi, do you want to hit the south Russ. side and I'll push to the west? Copy that. Russ, if you need support, no I have four boys up north that can come in. We're getting contact up north. Japs Eye Squad now fully engaged yeah. to the west. Said contact on the northern side. Still following Yeah, that, that, that northern compound they're, they're, they're throwing down. Russ, you've got an uh, enemy squad to the west of you. I've marked them. You can hear the commander comms calling out that squad to the west of Russ. Yep. That's going to be Japsai squad reporting on that, communicating where the enemy is so Russ knows how he can hit these guys. They're now going to get in contact with the 303rd in this compound here. Also marked him on the map. Looks like we've gotten the south. Yeah, I'm not sure south, 303rd's is trying to... Uh... Any citizen Here goes go. down. Scum lights him up. Rusty K squad is fully engaged at this point. Where are you at right now, Rusty? Right over Rusty K. His squad. Well, this Where's that at? The wrong side the wall. Um, they oh, are at Mullins down. Point. So Market Hub now being capped by uh, Red Coats. Oh, good, mate. We're capping now. 
Roger that. Pushing into uh, We do have west, east oh, contact to our north. I'm bandaging. Copy. Uh, you have to get out. Roger that. Oh, so, okay, there, 303rd. The flag, blitz, watch out. Taking the flag to the I'm south. I'm going to help you on that first because this is out of play for now. I'm out. I'm here. I think they'll be alright with this. Stay Definitely keep an eye on, uh, don't stay up there in that too, north too long, Rusty, because I don't think that that's a capable flag right there. There's also um, plenty with uh, Mizzou going down in the south. Okay, I'll break off and run over to Mizzou. Sure, we got Market hub. on the D flag to the east. Let's try and get these cap base up. This is Blitz's squad down here. Yeah, squad must have pushed south then, Blitz. We are still capping. Yeah, that's where INX Bay is right now. Are you talking about uh, Defi's? Blitz Def is still up. Defi squad, Parabellum, and Sober. They're being assaulted right now on... Uh... All right. Yeah, I think this is Blista's. Yep. Yeah, they're getting they're getting pretty... Uh... I was confused on my points. They're getting pushed pretty hard. 303rd rolling in now. Doc East down there. Bears, Canadian bacon out there in front. Deffy up on the roof. Wow. Ross's squad is surgically removing these three or thirds from the so compound. Your boys expect to contact to the east. I think they cleared the entire compound without taking a single casualty at the end. Oh, really? Yeah, every single three or third down, which, which uh, they compound? got everyone. The one um, on the north, uh, east? Yeah, northeast. It it's hard sometimes to find out what the names of these points are, because when there's players there, you can't hover your mouse over it. My boys are pushing north and pushing east. Yeah, Roger that. We took a couple inside, but... Looks like the 303rd is mounting a uh, counterattack here on the compound they just lost. Copy. Yep, I can see that formulating out there. Yeah, they're, they're gathering together. Yeah, oh, um... Squad two, Rickers they just definitely pushing up on those flags for sure. Yeah, squad two just took out these three hundred and third guys down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push up to Battleborn up here on this uh three hundred and third counterattack. Rossi Raider squad up here. Blitz does. Is Battleborn well. rocking the S V D kit? I'm sure he is. We'll see though. Copy. What are the tickets like for the three o'clock guys? Oh, three or third, they're at a uh, two hundred and eighty-six right now. Two eighty-nine. Two hundred eighty-nine. So you know. Wow. Folks. Wow. Yeah. We know this was going to be close. So three hundred and third in this compound. Over to the you east. know, and realizing though that a map this big, it's tough to cover because there's so many other things going on. Yep. And you can't just focus on all of it. Neutralize. There are two legit fronts on this map right now. I know, I can hear everything going around around me, and it's it's hard to not turn the camera. Thank you. Bye -bye. There we go. So we neutralized neutralized got neutralized it. Neutralized, yep. boys. Russ, you've got a squad coming from If they take the other flag that they're now. trying to get now, they're going to turn it into a one-flag objective right up near Maine for 303rd. So the battlefield is definitely being shrunk on the 303rd. Like we're neutralizing. They're neutralizing the other flag, so uh, they're taking some ground right now. The question will be, let's watch to see if Redcoats send anybody up to the, the final flag near 303rd's main, so that if they do cap both, they're already trying to uh, make that aggressive move. Is the enemies in that three-story blitz? Gully on the 303rd, making things difficult for the Redcoats. He gets two kills. Ross, just dig in there. I'm going to uh, look after the D-flag. Ross, are you neutralizing the point A? Copy. Uh, I think if they both... To, south they... Then, yeah? to the east of the D-flag. I reckon they've probably set one up down there. Yeah, possibly can't confirm. Let me clear the D and I'll push out. Copy. So 303rd eliminated. I think if they get both the flags capped, 
th you'll see all the reds move up because some of them are yeah, sticking are back on defense. From the south blitz, they're definitely coming from that general area. Gotcha. Once, uh, once you cut that flag, we'll flush east and take it. Tom, how's it looking over there? Um, sorry, I'm I'm having a bit of dinner at the same time. <laughs> um, I, I'm just zooming between the uh, different squads right now, looking at like the overall state of the battle. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up and get a show of Twitch uh, chat the whole overview of where our forces are completely scattered out. About to neutralize Lilac right now. I'd like to highlight for the audience out there too. There's 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 some things we're thinking Take about and drawing concepts up in the background. We're about to neutralize uh, Lilac. Uh, improving the right now you guys see triangles in the future we're hoping you see the the kits themselves their status of whether they're up or down whether they're firing and then we, we might have a different set of icons for the really high up stuff that'll look like the end game map so you know hopefully improvements on the way with uh, how we how you see these matches absolutely we're getting hit huh? Yeah, I'm going to go back to Rossi on, here. They are now getting hit hard from both sides of this compound. They are actually they completely surrounded, surrounded on this Captain compound. Absolutely. You at Riverside Farm? I believe so. Russ, I'm sending four guys up to you now. Yep. Russ just ordered up some reinforcements as well. Yep. yep. Russ, where are you getting hit from? He's last stand up oh, Russ no, right now. On the flag as well. They're, on it with us. <laughs> they're coming from the north. So they got ah, both flags go. neutralized on the eastern side of the map. The question is whether uh, 303 could stop the bleed on the back yeah, end. Then they we're won't be able to, uh, the to cap. Down as well. We have to put one down, so we're hitting it again off the fob. We're going to try and get back in. And Redcoats have just pushed a fob uh, in the center. If you bring up the map, Rusty, and show that. Trying to be able to support all of the flags in that general vicinity. Yeah, I can see that. That's a pretty good location uh, if they're able to hold it. It allows them to go both out to the west and to the east. Hey, occasionally, too, for the Twitch stream, bring up yeah, the uh, bring up the scoreboard, because remember, cams can see the kills and death ratio, so if people want to maybe get to know what's kind of going on a little bit, they can. Okay. Uh, Russ UK, I'm seeing him on the map now, moving to Mullins Point. Well, if Battleborn is 7-1 right now. We see that from Battleborn. And B 7-1 and one as well. They give the right kids to the right guys. B is the machine. Okay, Rossi Hall, we're going to flush that fob east and we're going to push to your position past and assist Russ. B's always Roger does that, well. Big man. We're making a new push on it now. Yeah. Grimsy and Canadian Bacon. I swear if I made a kid with, uh, with just guys, pistols, he'll videos. still own with it. <laughs> he probably would. There's no doubt about that. So 303rd capturing Mullins Point. Rossi's squad still getting heavily engaged now, but 303rd is off to the southeast. Are you moving up to uh, Mullins, Rusty? No, oh, I see where you are. Yeah, I'm going to zoom over here to CKY and Rusty K and Tonk Tonk. Rusty North, mate, and them fucking compounds full squad in there. All right, so we have a mini game going on. Who's going to have the most kills by the end, Battleborn or Bees? <laughs> <laughs> what, what kit? Let me see what kit they've got. I think Battleborn is rocking right, the Rossi, FCD. It's clear down here. We're going to sweep past your east and get a fob up. Uh, just to your northeast to assist the current A flag. Yeah, uh, Roger that, mate. They might yeah, be he's got FCD. There, so yeah, you can hear that. Uh, Redcoat's talking about setting up another fob to support Beast that attack has flag. too, though, I think. So the Redcoat's now focusing on that attack flag. That's Mullins well, Point. Well, they still got a large concentration of forces That's where they're coming from. down in that, that southeast Rush. flag, right down below down the feet. cap zone. Oh, absolutely. 303rd is pouring resources down there. They're going to have to make a major defense down there.
going to pull back over to that compound and leave Russ UK. I see a pretty awesome flank happening right now. We'll see whose squad that is. Oh, that's Blizta's squad. That's the Blitza. captain back. Blitza. 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 I was there Blitza. you go, baby. Blitza. Copy, copy. I think, that, wasn't that a running joke that I could never pronounce his name? Yeah, well, even on the, you, you worked the new stream thing and put still put Blista. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you typed it even. Oh, I, t I typed it. <laughs> wow. Well, some things never change. Blitzta. No, no. You can see his squad right here throwing down some fire on the 303rd. Foxhound Doc East are down. Canadian Baco as well. How's the tickets looking on the uh, three or third side? Oaks. Oh, sorry, they're at 226 right now. Wow. All right. Good margin going. Okay, so 260. It's starting to, to build. Yeah, 260 to 226. Blitz, if you could push your guys north, it'd be nice. We're pushing now, mate. We're going to sweep the fob and we're going to push for you. Copy. Yeah. yeah. Bliz talking about sweeping that fob. Where is the uh, where's the three hundred and third fobs are at? I'm not uh, I'm not seeing them spawn in on them. Which way are they hitting you from, Ross? They've North? got one in um North and East, mate. No, G6 no, no, no. in the top of G6, move, and that's the only one. Yeah, we, they, they're going to neutral. They're going to neutralize it. It's cool. Okay, it's I think the red coats might have a beat on that. Yeah, Ross, hold for the minute. We've got it. Blizz is talking about sweeping a fob. You can see bees is with them. Bees is down though. Wow, that one building full of three or third guys, one grenade. <laughs> oh, really? Just wipe oh, them no, all, they, huh? they are, No, no, no. But it if there was to be a grenade inside, in there, mate. they'd have a bad day. So I'm guessing the three and third fob is in the in there, compound on G6. Yeah, is that right? I think it's G6. Oh, I yeah. believe so. Yeah, okay, I think the Redcoats are, are sniffing that out. Parabellum now coming around the side. I think they know that that's there. Yeah, 303 is definitely about to take that compound. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I can see that here. Wow. It's getting pretty dense down here. What's the name of that point? Lilac this is Lilac. Lilac. Someone's down to their pistol. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Yeah, there's a bunch of them all still up in there. They're 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 trying to hold it out. Yeah, there comes iron. Wow. Blasting they're out. They're breaking out of that building. Wow. Wow. Did not think that would happen. Iron leading the I charge. Oh, and he goes there. down. Are they in the compound? Yeah, I think he bled out actually. Yeah, he 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 ran out of that building, man on a mission, took out two guys, opened the way. Yeah, we're definitely all essentially near the same uh, area here. Are you looking? How's their comms on that side, Oaks? Are they talking a lot? Uh, they are, yeah. It'll, it'll come in burst, though. It's not like a steady stream, I'd say. Yeah, it's kind of the same on this side. There, there's It's coming in bursts, but at, at certain points, they're, I think they're just entrenched in what they're trying to do. They're not it's calming as much. Right, right. Well, the Redcoats and the 303rd are down in this compound. I believe Sober is the only one up inside. But the 303rd looks like they have reinforcements coming in. Looks like their rally is just out there to the east outside the compound. Canadian Baco and Doc East out there. Skirmishing with Bees, Hickman, Dedek out there for the Redcoats. Deffy as you well. You on the east? I am. I think I'm going to shoot over to the north. I've been out here for pretty much the whole match. Let's go north. There's a lot of stuff going down up there. Okay. okay. The 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 so we're going to leave yeah, this compound. We're going to leave that 303rd fob. A jet Stuff over here to the stuff. north. It seems like their red coats are trying to flood the next Rough attack flag up here. Cool. Okay. What's that? It's tick. You talking about taking Mullins Point, Tom? Yeah. Yep. We're down to 240 tickets here. How about the 303rd, Oakley? 
206. 206. It's okay, is it? Yeah? I'm asking you if it's good. Hold up, mate, I'll find it. Yep, yeah, all good, mate, all good. Bit of a shit storm at the moment, Rossi, but we'll get it. Seems the battle is definitely shifting to the east yeah, now. Before, before like there were still totally stragglers moment. out in the center of the, the map. Yeah, we're now that's seeing the Redcoats extremely aggressive on the push. Just getting forces to the front. Halting those 303 guys from coming down. If they can take that next cap flag, if you bring up the map, that'll shift the defense. Which you know what I mean? And noise. then they'll only have one defense Just flag and out. one... Enemy Cat fog flag. probably around, you know, north of Then it'll definitely you, change. Me. Right. So you one thing I find really interesting well, about no squad is the, uh, is the use of snipers and, and their utility or lack thereof. Like, I'm, I'm checking out uh, Omega on the Redcoat side, and uh, he's got a 2 to 1 kill death, but uh, he's not, he doesn't have much of a score going on. And I wonder, like, what, what snipers, uh, what Maybe their utility will be as, as the game matures. Copy. Tom, how would you take that? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, well, We're coming back in we actually don't have any snipers in. They're Mike supposed to be a designated marksman. They're supposed to be Copy. a rifleman that can hit more accurately and be like a supporting role, just like you have a light machine gun. Sure. So that's the intended role for it. They're supposed to be in the rear with the squad, help observe and engage at longer range if possible or if needed. Uh, that's their intended role and you see the people that nice use support, them like that is, nice support, is very very powerful because if you just have one guy camp on a hill, oh, good, buddy. yeah he's gonna get some kills but he's not really gonna make a difference in a battle whatsoever. Yeah exactly. I, I'm surprised to see I'm surprised to see a, uh, a designated marksman basically on a hill by himself uh, in a match like this I when there's so much organization I, going on. My, uh, yeah, yeah, push up, my suspicion with that is that he's doing more of an observation thing because yeah, this map he's is so flat. Recon. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's actually get the, there to get kills because um, no in, matter where you are, it's not a good vantage no, point. Yeah. You see anything. Well, he's taking a lot of shots, but he's not getting a lot of kills. Well, if like it is suppression, like if you get a bullet hitting the wall right next to you, even if it doesn't hit you, you might want to just sit down behind that wall, and that halts the advance. That sure. stops them from being aggressive. So there is. I, I can't speak to their tactics, but there are many uses for a, a marksman yeah, other than the kills. Well, and so I'll, I'll highlight to it too. Uh, last time, Ian, when uh, Redcoats, we were playing on Kohat, and Battleborn, you know, is attached to one of the squads, and he sits up on the hill and essentially is calling out the compound, where they're going, where the people are, stuff like that. So in the clan environment, they definitely use them far more as observers than they do as people trying to uh, inflict damage, you know, from a from a bullet perspective. You know, they're they're trying to inflict damage by guiding the squad further into uh, penetrating territory. Yeah, that, I mean that makes sense. Um, and that being said, there's a bunch of changes coming to that next patch as well. We're trying to discourage. We're trying to encourage them to be with the squad from next patch and going onwards. There's a bunch of features we want to implement. The next one is just we got to be a tweak of the existing kit. Comms really lighting up. Uh, Redcoat's trying to bring everyone up north on the cap flag because they just neutralized it. So if they make this push and cap it, they're de they're going to turn the tide of this match. And really, it's just going to be wall, through a third on that last flag from main, the rest of the match almost. Blitz, just to my guys southeast, there are enemies, by the way. Just in case you're wondering yeah. about an east flank. Yeah, Russ UK yeah, squad just off. completely pushed open uh, on onto the other side of that compound that they've been in for a while. They're probably posturing themselves to move on to that next flag. Once the reinforcements start scooting up, you'll probably see, uh, or, or you might see Japs move up but they're they're definitely getting ready to uh push forward it looks like 303 is already trying to establish a defense in that next flag if you look if you take a bird's eye view of this there's actually a lot spread out 303 guys where it's solid massive red coats it's interesting. yeah that, that's a good point they all just threw themselves at that flag just with overwhelming numbers and just claimed it. Yeah, it's interesting because Chora, you'd think splitting up is yeah, going to be, you know, divide and conquer. Have boys. these guys take this point, these guys take this point, you can kind of steamroll them that way. 
But as things start to stagnate, you really need those forces to make that brute force push. I, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's down to the micro battles that dictate what, the well? macro me, battle. Okay, I think it's down okay, to that right. compound we had at the south side of the river. Uh, and they, uh, like, they managed to actually hold out for a long, long time, and they were confident that they could do so, so they could commit the larger force north, just because they were there and kept it from being neutral. Yeah, so coming in on coming the south. We got eyes on you. Now you can see the redcoats there in the middle. 303rd sees them, this mass of redcoats in the middle. So now they're being engaged from plantation. And now it's the 303rd coming across the river basin to engage the redcoats from both sides. Yeah, they're making a very big push on plantation from the south. I don't think this is going to pay off for them. We've got that Dock East, uh, Bears, Canadian Baco, Foxhound in the rear. If they can come up behind these guys... They're going to be able to wipe them. Yeah, there are no slouches, either of those guys. Absolutely. And Ducky knows what he's doing, like... They should not be taking lightly that little four-man squad. Looks like Mitsu up in the north. I can't tell if he's trying to go get a different rally or maybe a fob. Different location to try to start penetrating from a different side. But they've... Red Coast are definitely spotting that. So, any idea what the red smoke is being uh, is marking? So, what possibly I would imagine, just go ahead. I'll go. No, go ahead. No, no. So, a lot of times, what you'll see with these guys is uh, the opponent's clan, the so grenadier, will throw down a smoke to indicate Moving where they're west. seeing movement at. So, the red smoke, they'll they'll call out comms to them, say, "Hey, red enemies on red smoke." And then okay. now you could try to start getting like automatic riflemen or RPGs or you know things like that start honing in near the red smoke area. I, right. I absolutely love doing that when I'm playing Grenadier. It, it's certainly gratifying getting that one kill with the uh, high explosive rounds, but you're gonna run out eventually. I, I like if I see a concentration of them, just mark it roughly and then like, oh, it's 30 meters to the west of that and then have your entire squad light them up. It just draws their attention to it. It's so gratifying seeing them be completely lit up. And then when they're suppressed, they're much easier to hit with your high right, explosive. I, was get an form set up. I, I absolutely love doing that. It's fun to see, especially if you've got an automatic rifleman on standby and you throw that down and they start just barreling lead into an area. I mean, squads can't move at all. It's also a psychological thing. Like, oh, there's that smoke too. on our position. We're marked. Should we move? And they might force them out of cover just because they think they, like, yeah. Well, they are spotted. Like, there, there's so many things going on. You can just throw one at them, and they'll be so confused that they yeah. alter their tactic, which is of course right. an advantage. Yeah. I'm gonna get a support and fob set up on the green move. Redcoat's market. still trying to push on plantation, being engaged from both sides now, but they're doing a good job of holding off the 303rd defense yeah, as they really try to push into plantation. They've got Jap size squad coming up in the rear. We'll see how many forces he ends up bringing up. Was a fob taken down in the which tickets? Uh, tickets are at 134, and yeah, that fob was taken down. Wow. Wow. This is also the so what just happened with Jap size squad is a is a really good example of the confusion in this game because if there was a full sort of full visibility and full information exchange. Uh, they would have been smashed just immediately between these two squads, and instead they've stuck around for quite a while. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we're really seeing the 303rd completely take over that compound. I'm not sure what they thought they were going to find in there. Uh, it's really just the Redcoats skirmishing on plantation, but they have quite a few, if not two full squads in there, as they clear it out. Something else to highlight is something that you've been alluding to, Tom. Um, mm-hmm. That redcoats are playing as the militia, we which have the largely no optics, Roger, yeah, Roger, and yeah. going up and are controlling the domain. Stuff. To you know, well, having optics is not always in a. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was a bad nade right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, optics is not always what it's cracked up to be. Uh, we saw at least last time you guys did this. Uh, yep. Basically, the uh, non-optic teams won because they're. Usually more aggressive. They don't hang back. They go capture the objectives. Rossi, Rossi, the boys uh, okay, and it's I'm really nice to, to see. Because the there is a lot of things going on on and the forums where people quote-unquote whine now, about it Jack, a lot. Uh, Russ, I'm pushing it now. 
And I'm actually not sure the next update yeah, is going to be for the better. Blitzer, could you put Just going to be... Down? Yeah, Rog, thank oh. you. Thank you very much. I forget about the comms. <laughs> Oaks, try sorry. not to do that if you can. Wavelength, bitch. Alright, sorry about that. No, it's alright, dude. It's alright. No, so yeah, uh, the Russians are going to get a bunch of scopes like uh, on, boys, the US has. Uh, in the next patch get here. But it might force people to be more of like take on the like firing range sort of battle style where they just lie in a hedgerow across from each other and shoot at each other yeah. instead of making the aggressive move. So honestly, it's not always best to have an optic. It's not always about getting the gratifying kill and then taking no ground. Sometimes it's about getting there and taking the ground. And sometimes you just need iron sights to less vis like more visibility on the screen to take that. And yeah. these guys are really good yeah, at highlighting that, where you don't see yeah, that on public. Good work, I've got the date. Wow. Neutralized plantation. Red Coast pushing so hard. We'll see if they're going to be able to hold it. I mean, looking at the battlefield, everybody has been pulled in. Except uh, one squad for the Red Coats and one squad for the uh, 303rd who are back there. It looks like they're fob hunting. Stay out of me. Back I there. I can't even there. see who that is over there. Yeah, I was just about to ask, what what are they doing over there? Well, I'm guessing they're fob hunting. I'm popping white smoke on the attack flood, northeast side, multiple But yeah, they're they all the way back to the bridge popping back there. Smoke. I also want to point something out. If scopes were such an advantage and kills were the ways you win the game, then the score should not be 142 kills to 90 kills in favor of the non-scopes. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> well, so I think, we... too... Go ahead. No, no, it's, so it's like you work. don't win the game by having overpowered weapons, which they clearly aren't, because if they were overpowered, on, they would win. Yeah. Oh, the red I think that's why these clans enjoy this type of thing so much. These matches aren't about kills, they're about advancing communicating taking the points stuff like that i, I don't even th you don't even ever care about kills when you play this game it's like, as long as you contribute to the yeah, to the match you're doing yeah. it right well somebody uh, sent out a little note to these guys because they have given up on fob hunting it looks like and it looks like they're heading back to the main main area yeah it definitely looks like they're all because they're holding it i, I think they weren't about to cap it no they did cap it we're so, 188 tickets on this side for the Redcoats. Oaks. We're down to 39, and it's counting down one per second here. Yeah, they are. They are bleeding. Yep. Oh, we have a new contender, Tonk Tonk. The Grenadier also has a bunch of kills. He's almost at B's level. Chaps, right above you. Right above you inside. Looking at Moto Fox there over on the 330. He's at eight. So guys, just going off of what you're talking about, where kills are not the name of the game, I'm looking at uh, the squad one and the uh, the lowest uh, score for that squad is the guy with the most kills by quite a ways. Yeah. <laughs> Good guess. Bye, bye, bye. Oh. He's with the whistle. Oh man, that's too funny. 185. Wow. wow. That is some pure oh, domination. That was a right route. There. Well in the boys. Whoa. They basically just took stuff and never gave it back. Absolutely. Yeah. Very strong showing. Now we're gonna switch over to the three hundred and third, correct? Switch over to the three hundred and third, correct? Switch over to the three hundred and 